Okay, now in Premiere, start by dragging the video you'd like on the right side of your split screen onto the one track on your timeline. Then drag the video you want on the left side above it under the V2 track. Next, you'll want to drag the end of the longer clip so that it matches your short one since these are going to play at the same time. Now let's go over to the effects panel and type crop into the search box. Then drag the crop effect onto your top clip. Next, make sure your top clip is selected and go over to Effect Controls. Under Crop, you'll see four different directions. You'll want to change the left and right values so that together they equal 50%, which is half your screen. I usually start with trying 25% on each side, but it's not going to be that simple with this footage. So I'll have to change my left to 35%, which looks about right, and then I'll change my right crop to 15% to equal that total of 50%. Finally, if you go up a bit to motion and effect controls, you'll want to drag the position's first value to the side to move your clip horizontally towards the left side of the frame. To move it super precisely, you can double-click your crop video in the preview to select it. And now you can use your keyboard left and right arrow keys to move in one pixel at a time to line it up perfectly with the edge. Okay, moving on, select your bottom clip on the timeline and go back up to effect controls. For your bottom clip, all you have to do is drag the position's first number to move it horizontally in the frame. There is no precise value here, just get the part you want. If you still can't get the look you're going for, you do have the option to increase the scale to really bring what you want the viewer's focus. Okay, that's it for the basics, but if you want to add a nice dividing line, go down to the Timelines toolbar and select the Pen tool. Now before we get started making our line, make sure to click outside the preview to deselect any clips. Alright, to make your line, click at the top of where your clips meet to create the first point, and then click again at the bottom to create the second point for your line. Before we style our line, you'll want to make sure that the line's graphic clip lines up and matches the duration of the others. Now with your graphics clip selected, go over to Effect Controls and click the shape's drop-down arrow O to expand its settings. The first thing you'll want to do is check stroke if it isn't already, and then drag the stroke's number to the side to increase its thickness so we can actually see it. Okay, this looks good, and I usually stick with white for my line, but you can click the stroke's color to adjust that if you want. Now I think that covers everything. So as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys found this useful.